Close your eyes, sit comfortably, focus on your breath. Try to exert some control over your mind. Tell yourself you're going to stay right here with the breath. Any other thought that comes in, you're not going to get interested in it. And don't be surprised if thoughts do come in. Thoughts about work, thoughts about the news outside, thoughts about home. But you can just put them aside. Right now is not the time for them. You want to exert some control over the area of your life where you should have your most control. After all, we look at the world outside. There's so many things going on that we can't stop, so many things that we can't change. And if you get worked up about the things you cannot change, then the energy that you could have put into things you could change gets wasted. So you have to develop some equanimity for things that you have no influence over. But you have to be very careful about the things that you should have influence over, like the state of your mind. All too often we let the state of the mind depend on things outside. But look how dependable things outside are. It's like placing your, your wealth on a street corner where anybody can come by and pick it up and do whatever they want to with it. You want to put it into a safe place. And the safe place should be your mind. But if you look at your mind and you tell it to stay with the breath for five minutes and find that you can't even stay with it for that long, what are you going to do? You've got to work on this. Bring mindfulness to bear. In other words, your ability to remember. Keep reminding yourself each time you breathe in, stay with the breath. Each time you breathe out, stay with the breath. And that alertness, watching what's actually going on. And then finally, ardency, the desire to do this well. Put some energy into it. Put some care into it. Because if you can control your mind, then you find that it can do a lot of things for you that you wouldn't have suspected. You can get the mind into a good state of concentration. You can see things inside and even see things outside that you wouldn't have seen before because you were running around too much. But now that you're still, you can see. So have a clear sense of the things that you cannot control. Learn how to let them go and look at things that you should be able to control. Because so many things outside in the world, we learn about them from second-hand, third-hand, fourth-hand, and who knows what filtering has gone on in the meantime. But looking at your own breath, it's you and the breath. There should be nothing in between you. And this is something you can know. And then you and your mind, seeing when the mind is still, seeing when the mind is not still, seeing when it's obeying and when it's not obeying, these are things you can really know, and it's things you can do something about. So remind yourself, you do have power. As the Buddha said, we shape our lives through our actions, both the things we do, the things we say, and the things we think. So do and say and think things that will lead to a good results. You have it within your power. We're not powerless. We have the power to shape a good life for ourselves. And that shaping doesn't give its rewards only to us. It gives rewards to people around us, too, if we do it well. So think of how you're shaping your life and how you should be able to have some control over how you shape your life. And if you don't have control, you better hurry up, because who knows how much longer you have to, to practice this, to develop these talents, to develop these skills. You've got right now, so make the most use of right now. This too is something you can know. You know it directly. Then you want to be able to develop the mind so that you can know directly when it's free from aversion, free from greed, free from delusion, free from the things that would make it suffer. And that's when you know that you've used the power of the mind well.